And I would now like to yield time to the gentleman from South Carolina. The gentleman from South Carolina is recognized. Mr. Chairman, I, I want to begin by thanking the committee for their work on the annual defense spending bill and for the opportunity to speak on an issue that is critically important to my constituents in the Low Country. As you know, in 2017, Congress mandated that the military service branches consolidate their medical activities under the Defense Health Agency. These reforms were intended to eliminate redundancy and reduce cost, all while improving access to care. Unfortunately, the manner in which the Department is implementing these reforms all but guarantees this will not be the case. In my district in South Carolina, we are unfortunately already feeling the effects Naval Hospital of Beaufort provides quality care to an estimated 35,000 service members, retirees, and military families in South Carolina. But just last month, the department eliminated the Naval Hospital's urgent care services. And given the administration's plan to eliminate another 18,000 medical billets nationwide, I am deeply concerned about the effects further cuts may have on our military and their families. I am further troubled by the Department's lack of transparency into how they are making decisions with regard to the closure of medical services. In addition, the Department has yet to complete a detailed analysis of how cuts in medical services may impact surrounding communities, especially in rural areas where alternative treatment options may be limited. As a result, military families in underserved communities face an uncertain future. In Beaufort County, my constituents already face unreasonable wait times to see their doctors. And given the high concentration of veterans in my district, any reduction in services on Naval Hospital Beaufort is certain to reduce access to care and degrade unit readiness in the Lowcountry. I thank the committee for their attention to this issue, and I ask that they continue to work with me to ensure service members, retirees, and their families can continue to have access to the care that they need and deserve. Sure, I appreciate the gentleman's concern. The committee has been following the implication of the department's medical reform efforts closely and certainly shares many of the gentleman's concerns. The committee has requested the department provide details of the analysis used to determine changes to medical services at the medical treatment facilities. This analysis would include details on the capacity of the local community, costs, impacts on providers, and the risk to the served populations. I want to assure the gentleman from South Carolina that the committee will continue to monitor these issues closely. Mr. Chair, I thank the chairman very much for acknowledging this problem. Going forward, I will continue to work with the Defense Subcommittee and the Armed Services Committee, as well as the Department, to make sure military families in the Lowcountry are not left behind as a result of these reforms.